Now let's move on to the next question. So here we have to solve sine 2x plus cos 2x equal to 0 for the value of x between 0 and 3, so 180. Now obviously if here you have 2x, we can just change that to 2x, multiply by 2, that will be between 0 and 360. Okay, so anyways, let's move on to the main question itself. We have to solve that equation. So, the idea is that whenever we have sine and cos in one equation, we always divide by cos. So here we have cos 2x, so we divide by cos 2x. So you will have sine over cos is tan 2x plus 3, the cos 2x divided by cos 2x will be 3 equal to 0. Now we have tan 2x is equal to minus 3. So now we realize that tan is negative, it will be in which quadrant? A, S, T, C have to be in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So here it is theta, obviously it is 180 minus theta. And here we have 360 minus theta. So let's first find the value of theta. Theta will be, so theta is not the answer, it is the angle in these quadrants, so theta will be tan inverse of the positive value of 3. So this is not the answer yet. Tan inverse of the positive value of 3 should be 71.6 degrees. Now to find the value of 2x, because here we have 2x, 2x is equal to 180 minus theta and 360 minus theta. So 2x will be what? Let's find out. So 180 plus 71.6, that will be 251.6. So I guess I guess I typed something wrong. That should be 108. My apologies, 108.4. This one will be 360 minus 71.6. That should be 288.4 degrees. Okay. So let me write this down. This one is for 2x. Now x is equal to what? Divide by 2. So 108 divided by 0.4 divided by 2. That should be 54.2. And then 288.4 divided by 2. That is 144.2. Now, if you want to, we can check if we have any other values. Because here we have 2, we can add 360 and 360 to those values to see if in case we have anything else, but in my opinion, or from what I can see, we should not, but you have nothing to lose. 108.4 plus 360, that will be 468.4, and this one will be obviously too much, let's check. 0.4 plus 360, that should be 648.4. Now divide by 2, 0.4 divided by 2, that is 234 will be too much and this obviously will be too much. So in this case there was no need because we could see also see that 2x was 108 and then 288. Obviously the next revolution will be too much so we only will be having those two values of x will be inside this domain. And that will be a question in relation to trigonometry.